Okay, we back. Um. All right, episode two. Um, a lot of people are not happy that they showed episode two. They, I don't know what they're trying to do. What's what's going on? Some people were happy that they showed episode two of Potomac. They had a watch party going on on Twitter. And they were watching episode two. They start off with Candace. Um, no, they start off with Ray and Karen. And Karen wants Ray to say, I love you. And he hasn't said, I love you. I guess they're at the point in their marriage. I don't know. I don't know what is going on, but she wants him to say, I love you. And she's looking at him like, I got to keep my body together for you, honey. No, you don't. That old ass man. He old. So, and you what, like 20 years younger than him? You better get on. Monique and Giselle, they meet. They want to move forward. Uh, Monique said that Giselle is getting anointed dick. I, I, I would be... Let me tell you how embarrassed I would be that your circle of friends feels like you're a bitch when you don't have dick up in you. I, I would be so embarrassed. I would be so embarrassed from your daughters to your friend group. Say that you're a bitch when you're not sitting on dick. What is it, Giselle? What is, what's going on with you, girl? What's going on with you? So Ashley, they talk about Ashley. They want to have a party for Ashley because she's been depressed. She won't come out of the house. So Giselle and Monique feel like Candace owes Ashley an apology just based on what Ashley went through last year. Are you going to apologize for Michael talking to Candace like a damn dog? Are you? Are you going to apologize to Candace for Michael talking to Chris like a fucking dog? Or are you? And I'm trying to figure out, did everybody apologize to Ashley? Because all y'all was talking to Ashley crazy around that Michael situation. The only one, the only bitch who has the footage is Monique. So she wasn't really talking crazy because in my theory, it's some, it's some money being passed back and forth to keep your little secret. They feel like a um <clears throat> ashley not ashley giselle feels like candace doesn't own the things that she does she does own them she just doesn't want to apologize for them so how is that not owning it i was like okay whatever giselle and i asked right here did they apologize did all y'all apologize to ashley why do we need candace's apology on film because if, if all y'all apologize to Ashley for how you treated her and the shit that you was talking last year, then okay, I could see like, girl, we all apologize to her. You the last one. Apologize. But Monique was the only one that was like kind of supported Ashley during all that foolishness. Giselle was a bitch. Karen was a bitch. Robin was the one who told it. And Candace and her husband at the reunion. Y'all didn't just see the reunion. Like Michael was talking to them crazy. I don't care was talking to them crazy and they should and they i don't i i don't know i don't know and she does own it just because she doesn't want to apologize doesn't mean she doesn't own it giselle they wanted to know why sharice was invited i forgot to mention sharice in the last in the last review but they wanted to know why sharice was invited she didn't get a heads up um sharice started rumors about my family apparently and so this is the this is the crazy part you sitting up there trying to mend whatever it is that you have with Monique, right? Monique says in her interview, she doesn't want to talk about the issues that Char that Sharice was going around spreading rumors about. But let leave it up to the mean girl, leave it up to her to sit there in her college stagnant mind and tell what the rumor was. Well, apparently, girl, we heard that she was out with her gym instructor and Chris found out about it and he wasn't happy she calls Chris big boy what's her name does not like it when she calls her husband big boy she don't want to talk about it but our sorority our good sorority sister she tells it I don't know how y'all diva likes Giselle I can't stand Giselle I she is like I said on fucking Twitter that bitch she peaked in college she peaked that was that was the that was the time when she thought the most of herself honey and so she has continued that behavior in her friendships i don't know how giselle deals with any woman i haven't seen giselle i don't follow anybody on t i think the only person that i actually follow is probably candace maybe i don't maybe i just see her on the explore page i don't know i don't follow i, I really don't follow some of them, a lot of them not on instagram but on the uh whatchamacallit on Twitter, 
uh uh I don't follow Giselle I don't follow none of them Giselle's too boring I noticed in the last review I didn't even mention Robin with her boring ass and her trying to get married like that's been Robin's storyline for five years is trying to get Juan to marry her and he's finally said yes now that his hairline is receding and he probably has to take Viagra to get his dick hard now he wants to settle down let's let's get married now since my dick doesn't work for all these other bitches who want to sit on it I'll give you the broke down dick okay so I don't know that's just my theory that's when a nigga wants to settle down when the hairline when he's not when he's no longer attractive to the opposite sex then he wants to settle down and then you're sitting there waiting cuz monogamy and marriage is what you've been sold to do princess ashley is in with her lactation coach um because she's during her postpartum she's uh, obviously has some postpartum depression going on and she almost gave up breastfeeding and she don't want to give up breastfeeding um because she's a holistic mom like monique Wendy and Candace go sit down. Candace loves Wendy because she loves an educated bitch. We love an educated bitch, honey. She has a PhD. She's a political commentator. Um, so they, she feels like they have a lot in common. Tells her she's almost ready to have a baby. Candace, no. Candace says she needs more therapy. You do. You need more therapy. You need to heal the wounds that were created by the relationship with your mother. One. Two, you need to learn how to mother yourself because you didn't get it out of your mother. So you're going to have to learn to do those things. So the things that your mother used to get on you about that now you've in turn grown to be ashamed of or feel bad for, like you beat yourself up. A lot of times we beat ourselves up the way that our parents beat us up. And I'm, I'm saying figuratively, not literally. And so you start to take those things on. So when you mother yourself or father yourself, you're a little, you allow yourself a little bit more grace for mistakes that you make. You're not as hard as on yourself as your mother would be. So you just take a different approach. You need to mother yourself, Candace. You need to get more therapy, like you said. And that's just what it is. So Wendy and Wendy starts talking about Karen and saying that every time she meets Karen, Karen's like, nice to meet you. And she's like, girl, we met like so many times. And they keep showing pictures she talks about Giselle being very shady Candace says she's nicer with when she has dick in her life like that's so fucking sad to me that's sad that that's everybody's observation of Giselle is you're a bitch unless you're sitting on some dick even your own children have said that about her about her like you act different when you're not in a relationship it's really weird and how fucking desperate do you have to be to have some dick in your life than to take some dick that is a the community then to take the community church dick like girl and it and it doesn't matter that he is their father they not feeling that nigga at all they're like uh, oh, okay girl he's gross look what he did to you why are you taking him back and let me tell you something. When a young woman sees her mother making bad relationship decisions, she doesn't respect her in that realm. She learns how to not trust her mother when it comes to relationship advice. That's like, she's like, okay, well, I can't go to you for relationship advice because look how you deal. Look how you do, how you treat yourself. So, Giselle, you better tread lightly because them girls are going to be looking at you like, you're, you act like you're half of a woman if you don't have a man in your life. And you're so desperate to have a man in your life, you went back to the person who abused you. Could, it couldn't be me. Could not. No. Karen and, and Candace are out. They're talking about how they got invited to Ashley's birthday party. Um, coming out party. <laughs> I said birthday party. Sorry. Coming out party. So, Karen says, I smell a skunk. Now, this is what I appreciate with Karen and Candace's relationship. It's a mother-daughter. It's definitely a mother-daughter relationship. But there is a relatable, like we have a, our friend group. I do like the fact that when they're getting on Candace, that Karen doesn't really kind of, she stands back. She lets her do, she, she sees the bullshit coming from a mile away, right? She has that wisdom, but she also allows Candace to hold her own. She doesn't stick up for her. Um, and then somebody in the comment made a good point. When you start to, first you have, Candace has all these things going on with her mom, like this, this, this bad energy with her mom and her mom taking care of her and the women don't respect her in that way they use it as in order to read her and then you call so 
somebody was saying that Candace is like 5'1". So on top of acting like she's a child, then you calling her little girl and saying stuff like that. Short people don't like to be referred to little person or patting them on the head or acting like they're so small, you know? So that might contribute because little Mo talks about that a lot, how she's very aggressive because of her stature. She don't want anybody fucking with her. So she's very loud and very aggressive because people think that because I'm short, that they can talk to me any kind of way so that might on top of the mother situation with candace that might contribute to her like popping off i don't know so ashley and monique um we love you so much um i'm afraid to leave the house candace dragged you through the mud i'm expecting an apology she better apologize and make good y'all going in this into this with the wrong with the wrong like like Phaedra told um Cynthia you you got the wrong spirit <laughs> you got the wrong spirit honey you got the wrong spirit they got the wrong spirit going into this I don't know why you to me I feel like you can't force somebody to apologize there's there's in no you I don't even make children you don't even force children to apologize if they don't mean it you can reprimand them, give them consequences and all this stuff, but you cannot make people apologize if they don't want to, especially if they don't feel bad for what they said, especially if they don't give a fuck about the person they said it about. And here's Candace. I don't know why they're making this into a thing. It looks like it's being led by Monique and Giselle. And this is probably going to lend to the issues that, that Candace and Monique are having. Monique I've, all, I've said it from the season she popped her face on the screen. She is fake. She's phony. And that's it. That's She's phony. And to me, I feel like... And that's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. Because we're going to see... And we're going to see... A lot of people are already on Monique's side because they like Monique's personality better than Candace's personality. But we're going to see the build-up to this fight. And... You know, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know if Candace is within her rights to be upset and this fight going on. We don't know. We're going to see. We just don't know. Juan goes and meets with Giselle um, to tell her, I'm shocked that he's meeting me without Robin. Just even inferring that. Why are you making that? Like, why would you even say that? Like, I don't know. It, it to me, it felt like she was trying to infer some shadiness. I don't know. I don't like Giselle either. It's been a long time coming. She's so excited. And then she was like, you're the luckiest man. You got a diamond. He was like, I thought Jamal was the luckiest man. Oh, yeah, Jamal is too. Like, you don't even... You, girl, Giselle, bye. Bye, Giselle. Bye, Giselle. Candace takes a pregnancy test. Chris says he's ready to have a baby. We just waiting on you. She says she envies Ashley because Ash, she felt like Ashley really wanted a baby. Yes, her baby was her meal ticket. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but that, that baby is Ashley's meal ticket. And somebody was like, did, did Michael move Ashley into an apartment? No, that's their house. They live in a really, a really nice apartment. Um, I don't know. You see every now and again, you see different parts of, um, Ashley's place, but it's really nice. It's really big. It's really nice. But somebody was like, did Michael move Ashley into an apartment child? Honey, we don't know. He probably has an apartment though. So she's like, she really envies Ashley because Ashley wanted to be a mother. Again, Candace, wait, please wait. And she, you know, apparently her and Chris have this timeline that they're on. And she was like, are we going to go against the timeline? You know, I, the, the advice that I read is like an average is like, after you get married, you should wait about five years before having a baby because usually at the two-year mark as with all businesses the two-year mark is really where you kind of like go through um, some hurdles right the hurdles start presenting themselves you're at the two-year mark a lot of businesses end after two years marriages too so it's like don't have babies because you don't want to be in that situation now you have children and now you're getting a divorce so just wait about five years that's what I've always heard like the average wait time after you get after you get married is to um, wait five years so they have a they're having Ashley's dinner the place cards Giselle is putting the place cards down um Ashley and Sharice I don't know why I wrote that 
Ashley and Sharice. Anyways, Candace made an effort. Oh, they said after they after Sharice and Monique got into it, it seemed like Candace made an effort to make friends with Sharice. So why are you making friends with somebody who's talking about Monique? And that's a great question. I feel like it's unbalanced the the effort that Monique and Candace are putting in. Monique feels like the effort is not matching like you're not putting as much effort into being friends with me and I feel like she was planning and plotting planning and plotting what Monique what what could she possibly plan and plot what did Cherie say but repeat what she saw we don't know we don't read we, we will never know we will never know because Monique doesn't want to talk about it because her husband obviously doesn't is upset about it so she doesn't want to uh, upset big boy anymore Karen and Robin come through. Robin was on time. Finally, Ashley finally shows up. Giselle, um, they start moving the butter knives as a joke. Robin says something about Candace being, um, about it being childish and Candace being immature. I don't understand why it's Candace that's being immature. I don't get it. Maybe I don't get it. I don't know. It's maybe because she goes so hard. Like she doesn't, she has no bounds when she comes after you. Like again, she goes for the jugular. Y'all need to leave Candace alone and maybe you wouldn't be so shocked at how she responds. Because I've never seen Candace, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I've never seen Candace do something unprovoked i'm trying to think when she responds y'all just don't like it ashley's mouth is disgusting so i don't understand why all of a sudden we need to feel sorry for ashley because she just had a, a a lottery ticket i don't know why i can't stand now that's one i cannot stand i cannot stand it i don't i don't she ain't who she who she pretends to be like that like um brandy said about denise she's not who she pretends to be honey why do i need to apologize to you bitch i meant every word i said to you why tell me candace and wendy show up i'm here for the other dark skin girl there if y'all haven't seen if y'all haven't noticed that's Wendy is dark skin and the rest of these hoes is light skin except for Monique she's brown skin diva but now we got some, now now we got we got a little we got some balance going on here <laughs> we got some balance going on here Ashley says everybody has been so supportive I want to have a sip a sip and see and everybody here is invited so she invites Candace Ashley starts talking about her having Botox because she tore her ass I guess during during labor she wants to toast to being a new mother they give their toast to motherhood and it was great so then ashley asked how was the denim and diamonds party and it was kind of quiet i don't like the way that they edited that i can't imagine everybody just shutting down and it being complete silence after that question but they made it seem like it was an awkward silence which i don't believe that it was then monique said i had to i had to duck and dodge a war with a war I can never say a walrus. There we go. Walrus. I always put the W-R instead of putting W-A. Walrus. So she says she had to duck and dodge a walrus. And Ashley knew exactly who she was talking about. Did y'all catch that? She was like, oh, you're talking about Sharice. So you call her a walrus when y'all talking amongst each other because Ashley knew who exactly who the fuck you was talking about bitch you knew so Candace says I didn't know you guys had beef like that and it's like okay if the girl started a rumor is it beef like that we don't know what Sharice's what does she contribute to this rumor we don't we don't know because Monique doesn't want to talk about it Giselle told us that she was out with the with the the gym instructor and and uh, Chris didn't like it and Sharice was telling it that she saw them together. So you're mad at Sharice for saying she saw you together or did Sharice add some other shit to it? Why are you so angry with Sharice to where it's like y'all have beef to where you can't even have a conversation with each other at a little soiree? Want to know. So she was like, I didn't know we had beef. So she tells, Monique tells Candace, we'll talk later. 
bitch, what the fuck? She was like, bitch, are you mad at me? Because I didn't know, like, what did I do? However, you want to have a private conversation with Candace. But when Candace tells Ashley, I think this conversation would be best between us two. Y'all are like, no, 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 no. Y'all have to have this conversation here. What's the difference? What is the fucking difference, y'all? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe this fight came from Candace and being at a breaking point. We don't know. So then, because Monique is not happy with Candace in that moment, she tells, you should have went on a honeymoon instead of having a party. That's what you should have did. You should have went on to have a honeymoon and went, so you can go, had sex without a condom and have sex without a condom. She said it like three or four times. And I guess she's letting everybody know that Chris and Candace use protection when they're having sex. And I guess they use the pullout method. It. so that was Monique I don't know if y'all caught that because she got the way that y'all just should have went on a honeymoon instead of spending money on that party shady then Wendy says Karen you have sex bitch that man is old as fuck like what are you doing with that old rubbery thing what are you actually doing with that thing <laughs> I would ask too bitch who are you at? who are you for you fucking right Cause girl, you you got to pull on that to get that thing. Uh uh. Oh. <laughs> no ma'am. I would have asked too. Anyway, so uh, they said uh, Giselle is fornicating with the pastor. So Giselle said, "We want to set the tone. We want to set the tone of sisterhood and friendship." Girl, shut the fuck up. We know how you get down when it comes to sisterhood. You really act like a, a mean sorority sister. You really do, Giselle. Like, you really do. And it's so unattractive to be almost 50 years old acting like this with your ponytails and your hats with crowns on the front. Like, girl, ah! <laughs> and your makeup. Like, what's going on, every hue beauty? What is going on? What is going on? So, we want to, we want you to make an effort to apologize to Ashley. Candace was like, girl, what is this? Are we here for Ashley or are we here to get on me? Well, we, we apologies need to happen. Bitch, where? Like, where the fuck? Where? Like, you can't tell me. I don't, uh, I don't, it's, they're really like trying to make a child apologize. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, bitch. You're not going to make me apologize for something that I agree with. One, two, that I don't give a fuck about this bitch. Candace, if you didn't give a fuck about, uh, Ashley shouldn't have came to the party, but it's a group event and we know how Bravo works. When it's a group event, everybody needs to show up, whether you like the bitch or not. And that's just the rule. Um, and we get paid per episode, right? Okay, so there we go. Robin's like, all you got to be like is, girl, I'm sorry, da-da-da, just say sorry. Now, I believe that Robin did apologize to Ashley for her part. She apologized at the reunion. Did Giselle apologize at the, re at the reunion? I don't know, but Candace did not. And she was like, apologize for what? So, what's the name? Karen says, I know how it is for, for the gangbang. I said, come on, gangbang. <laughs> I know how it is when they're trying to make you do something that you don't want to do. They're trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do. I know how it feels. And that's what they're doing. Just say sorry. She was like, it's an elephant in the room. She's like, I don't want to talk about it. She was like, Candace, you need to apologize. Candace was like, girl, fuck you. Now, do you want me to just be mad at Ashley or do you want me to direct my shade towards you? Because you already had, remember when, when Candace was getting um, Giselle together at that table? They went somewhere and Giselle had on a, um, a camouflage jacket and that lady and can't. See, that's the thing. Y'all don't like because Candace reads down and y'all don't like it. She gets you together and she talked about your raggedy ass house after you laughed at her mom saying that her mom told her that oh my her, her mom said that she wanted her to buy the house and you went on tv and you was laughing about it but now you want me to apologize for saying your house look a mess bitch why are you gonna apologize to me that's i don't understand what's going on with these hoes but we're gonna see it's going they they're building it up they're building it up and we see next week what's gonna happen or the week after next 
anyways y'all take care of each other protect your energy we'll get down in the comments Body. peace you just can't make people apologize I'm still talking about it after I had pressed stop. So I figured I would hit record again. You just cannot make people apologize. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like how they doing Candace. I'm sorry. You know, and I don't care for any of them. Like I told y'all yesterday, I don't have a dog in the fight. I don't care for Karen. Never have. Um, I don't care for um, just, I definitely can't say. And, and Giselle is a Virgo. Y'all know that, right? She a Virgo. Girl, you give us a bad name. All placements. You give all Virgo placements a bad name. You just Robin, you a damn fool. And you know, I really was I, I was rooting for Robin. Robin and Juan need to get off the show. And that's just it. Like, get off the show. Um, Giselle and Jamal, that shit is fake, and you know it's fake. Stop faking. And and to me, I feel like, how desperate do you have to be for a check? Because do you I I know that Giselle knew the ridicule she was going to get for going back to Jamal Bryant. I know she knows it. I know she knows we dragging her ass every week. I know she knows that. Anyways, I'm out of here. Girl, you better know it.